Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video and the first thing I want to say is thank you guys for all the support I've been getting lately. I've been gaining subscribers pretty fast and I'm kind of shocked because when I started this channel, it was a more of a keep me honest thing. That's why I posted the videos like right before my surgery because I figured if everyone could see me, there's no way that I could fail because it's public. Like you see where I started, you're going to see where I finish. So I still got 70 pounds to go and you guys cheering me on in the comments kind of makes me feel really good about it. But we're going to check out this video. 600 pound mom gets paid to eat. So let's see what's going on in this universe. So my first thought is you really know you got a problem whenever you're resting your laptop on your stomach. And I know because I used to hold my Burger King cup right there while I ate. You know, there was a guy that was sending me uh, Western Union grams, like $200 a week for food. Hey, get that money, Men Shorty. Send me pizzas. So I knew that, you know, if I ate on... Really? There's a title for world's heaviest mother? I'm working backwards, guys. I could be getting friggin' rich. Just pouring baking grease all over myself. What, what am I doing? Camera, I would get more money. And it was my thing. It was like, that's what she does. And it was, I catered to that fetish. Okay. No kink shaming. Oh God. I don't know the type of men that really get like turned on by this. Cause I can't, obviously I'm gonna just go to like 7-Eleven buy myself a bunch of Slim Jims, make an OnlyFans, and start chowing down. I'm gonna get friggin' rich. Oh, Ohio, that explains it. <laughs> okay. See, her son is super skinny. That's what I don't get, the dynamic there, because somebody in the house is eating right, or she's taking everything and he's friggin' starving. I don't know what's going on. Dev, unlock, oh, I got it. Dev, she's got okay. a young daughter, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> When I was five years old, I started gaining weight, picked on. Actually, that's about when I started gaining weight, but I wasn't picked on. I didn't have that issue. In middle school, like I've said this before, that's when everything starts to just feel like everyone's like nitpicking or you're looking over your shoulder. Hated middle school, but I was pretty good the rest of school. Horribly, 10 or 11 after my mom passed away, my oh, stepmother came into the picture and it was very important for her that I lose weight. So she took me to the doctor and I was on diet pills from 10 to 18. That's too early to put a kid on diet pills. It's gonna make them feel all cracked out. But obviously you need to foster that healthy relationship with food for your kids because it seems like she just never built that and then she lost her mother really young. So I actually feel really sorry for her. I was like, oh, you can't be fat. <laughs> this is not gonna happen. Not into the wine. <laughs> when you backseat drive your own wheelchair, not into the wine. Come on, lady, just let him steer and just go for a ride. I like playing chandeliers. Oh, she's cute. Chandeliers and bells. <laughs> okay, Dev, I want to. We need to find uh, lunch meat and avocado, so let's find them. I was caught up in the whole trend, you know. I need to be thin. Do you guys think that men just want to watch her eat the meats? Because that's probably what's going on here. What's the avocado for? Isn't that a kind of oil like avocado? What is she doing with that avocado? This this might be the wrong damn website again. Thinner, I need to be thinner. The the whole drug scene, it was like, hey, you know, you don't see people on drugs fat. So let me try that Not for true. a little bit. But all it did was make me clean my house real fast. <laughs> <laughs> she said she got on that Jenny crack and that stem fast and she was just cleaning like a machine. Well, all right. Some... Some fat people think that's the misconception, but I've seen some fat crackheads. Lose any weight. <laughs> so I, I've tried everything that you can possibly imagine. Excuse me, sir. Where are your avocados? 
Uh, everything except eating right and exercise. <laughs> yeah, you like two. Oh. Okay, Jack, we'll put this in your bucket. Ben. Man. You know, the cabbage diet oh. and this diet and rice diet didn't work. So I was trying everything. I've tried, you know, everything. But it just seemed to make me, I will lose weight and gain more back. Yeah, because you just start eating like normal again. They're in the grocery store, so I was thinking of the craziest video i ever seen. There's this Russian video of this woman shoving a whole chicken in, inside, not, not just in her skirt, inside, and then trying to walk out with a little chicken in her hoo-ha. It's the craziest thing i ever seen. If I find it, I'll show you all, because you, now you have to see it now that I said it. Lose weight, gain more back. <laughs> I met Devin's dad, and he would bring home steak and lobster. And <laughs> oh, there's a hill, so he's got to put it in four-wheel drive. Oh, man. That little kid pushing her. He's impressive. Baked potatoes, and so I started eating, but then I started gaining weight. He seemed to be okay with it, and I thought, you know what? Good, I don't have to work at this anymore. I mean, she's not wrong. So I actually went from, like, easy. 350 to... 600 pounds okay you didn't just get there not trying he was turned on by sh like smearing reese's all over you or something he had to have a huge feeding kink like you were probably eating starburst out of his prison pocket or something i don't know what y'all were into but it wasn't just you not trying in nine years he just like all of a sudden one day left us and it was like oh <laughs> Um, okay, I can't move. That's the problem with this feeder thing. If they ever decide they've had enough, you're done. Wow, I can't get out. Because, you know, strollers oh, sometimes no. won't go through this one. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. Might have to go. Yeah. Put that baby in reverse. <laughs> Around, okay. Baby, honey, you don't have to do that, sweetie. Mommy can do it, honey. Okay, baby. That's cute. She's trying to help, but uh, I imagine she feels pretty bad when her youngest daughter starts pushing her around. I imagine that's not a good feeling to need help from what appears to be like a five-year-old. Just let go of the wheels, okay? That's okay, babe. But for the most part, I thought being bigger was always beautiful. In my eyes, it was just everybody else I was changing for. That's not true. You just found men that liked that. That they liked seeing the grease drip down your chin and that gave them a chubby. So it's not that you thought big was beautiful. After that, I eventually discovered the online community. It's all these men that like big women and they had a chat room. I couldn't even keep up with the amount of people trying to talk oh, to man. me. Oh man, I bet you were a prize pick in that chat room. Cause if you're 600 pounds, they're trying to get a piece of that jiggle. And I was like, wow, there's a whole bunch of men out here that love big women and Look there out. was a whole None of them are that And I thought, well, I'm good at that. All these guys had money. <laughs> So they would fly me out, send me. <laughs> She's like, they could have food my Ford, my or uh, afford my food bill. I'm gonna get these guys. Yeah, put me up, meeting all these guys all over the country. <laughs> Damn, I'm really in the wrong, wrong business here. I made a trip out to New Jersey to see him, and I kind of had a package I brought back, which was Jacqueline. <laughs> Damn, you got knocked up right away? Homie's got some swimmers, buddy. That's crazy. Imagine you go there and he's feeding you and then he's also stuffing you and then you come back with extra stuffing. That's crazy. So I moved to New Jersey and he was married at the time. And he said that as soon as I moved to New Jersey, he was gonna, he was gonna leave his wife. Yeah, right. Um, but as our relationship progressed, he said, why don't you be a web model? So he kind of talked oh, me. Oh, so he started pimping you out to make him extra money. This guy's got a business plan. Hmm. Is that, no, that's not illegal. If you're being a webcam for him and he's taking, nope, that's not pimping. Into it. 
in the fat world, big community, there's a few fetishes that men really get into with big women. Yeah. There's men out there that want you to step on their nuts. That don't mean you have to be a web model for nut crushers. Like, come on. One is squashing and one is eating. So See, I how knew I that, squashing? you know, if I ate on camera and ate large amounts, which wasn't hard for me to do, that if I made the videos that it, I would get more money. So along with my pictures, me posing in bikinis, I would also post videos of me eating ho-hos or... What do I always tell y'all about ho-hos? Look at that. There's men that are really turned on by this. Stop it. She could make the real big money if she just smeared some chocolate all over herself. But there's there's regular men that are into smearing chocolate on women. So that's not even a big people thing. But watching her eat friggin' like a pound of bacon turning you on, that's, that's friggin' crazy. P pumpkin pies, just whatever. Whenever I'd eat, sometimes Philip would just pumpkin capture pie. it on video if we go to a buffet sometimes you just let the camera roll and we put up a 15 minute video or <laughs> you oh would just go my on God. imagine being the guy beating his egg roll to you eating some stir fry no get a membership the unlimited videos for i think it was like 14 dollars a month and did you have a lot of followers well i'll just say that there's you know one point thousands of subscribers so how much did it cost just add that times 14 Oh my god, she's so friggin' proud of herself. Like, I'm eating myself to death, but over a thousand men were sitting there friggin' choking their ham. So, come on. Um, I would probably say I've made about, probably about 40 videos, spend probably five to seven hours a day answering fan mail, answering hate mail. You know, where can I send pizza? Can I have your address? Guys, am I, should I be, is YouTube the right move? Should I be making an OnlyFans where I'm sitting there at buffet? Like, I can't eat like that anymore, but maybe it, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta figure, I gotta figure out what I'm doing with the rest of my life. Where can I give Shit, you this? What Trump. do you need? Um, can I send you a box? One guy sent me 72 Hershey bars. You know, one guy from Germany, he spent like $200, like send me like $200 worth of sushi. He would Dude, it's, if you send like sushi from overseas, or is it? Would he just, I don't know even how that would work logistically. Call it and give him his credit card, have him deliver to me. Oh and then fans God. just saying, oh, I love you. I want to marry you. Tell me about how it progressed. Uh, a UK magazine got a hold of me and wanted to know if I would do an interview with them about. Oh my God. I think she was just obsessed with all the attention. She wasn't used to getting the attention like that. Even when I was 600 pounds, I was still a pretty looking man, so I still got the attention, you know? Being a big woman, being confident. I made a comment and I said, I wouldn't mind. They said, you like being big. And I said, I, I like being big. I'm comfortable with it. I don't care if I'd even be a thousand pounds. Man, I got news for you, but nobody is comfortable with being 600 pounds. Everything friggin' hurts. And if you got up to a thousand, I'm sure men, I'm sure there's men out there that want to have sex with Shamu, but it's just not not comfortable and they're not going to be able to find the wet spot at that size. So it just don't work. So when the story came out <laughs> that I wanted to be a thousand pounds, all of a sudden just boom. The media just took my took me and made me what they wanted me to be. No. A lot of people had a lot to say about it. Death threats and... No, you can't be giving her death threats. She can be whatever friggin' weight she wants to be, but I guarantee there's men out there that are that psycho because the more the men that got turned on, there was probably about 90% of them that weren't and were just like nasty as hell to her. I do not condone that on the internet. I'm joking around, obviously, but damn, man, that's crazy. You were, I want to know how much money she made. You know, just you're psychotic and... People call them children's services. That's they actually up. called children's services to have my ch children taken away. And all the misconceptions, that was very hard. Damn, now I just feel bad. Like no one should have been coming for her like that. Just because she likes to eat a little extra 72 Hershey bars. My life was just spiraling out just of control. a little bit. It was just basically me and the kids sitting in the woods doing nothing for oh. a long time. So I had a sedentary lifestyle because I was kind of forced into it. You weren't forced into shit. You were getting paid to eat. 
Like it was so easy for you. And he was still married and he never divorced his wife. Yeah, of I course, wanted go more. figure. I had another vision for my life, not this vision. And uh, Philip went to work and I packed all the stuff into a U-Haul yeah. and left. Well, about time you finally got smart and left because he didn't want nothing to do with that. Deb, can you get my wheelchair? Oh, man. <laughs> no, you did not just throw it down the steps. Pick it up, Junior. I was in Jersey. I didn't know anybody. I was tired of creating this fantasy for somebody with no gain to me except for gain yeah. on pounds, which made me more immobile. Oh, that's how, it, that's how it goes. He just actually moved to Barberton uh, three weeks ago, where sane people are. Nothing against Jersey. Come on, lady. You were out there because you knew that he was going to keep feeding you more and you had a place. You were making all this money and had all these fans. I'm sure there was other housing. You didn't have to stay with the guy that was married or in his little mistress house. <laughs> oh, well, when I was in can't. Jersey, I wasn't able to go out like this because I was in jail. What? Oh, is she, oh, is she talking about in jail because that guy wouldn't let her leave? I was like, what the hell did she get locked up for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm actually trying to lose weight, so I'm, able, so I'm more mobile, and then I'm um, able to do things like... See, this is what the fat positivity movement doesn't tell you, that it gets to a point where you get here, and then you're just shit out of luck. Like, you're just stuck. That guy don't want to feed you any more Snickers, and he don't want to grease his Snicker anymore, and then you're just shit out of luck. You're sitting there with all that weight and he don't want you anymore. Like, sit places. Devin, I'm gonna get this. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? All right. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm Donna here. When you go to a restaurant and they know your friggin' name or ask you how you're doing, it's probably a sign you've been there too many times. Everybody, you know, I'm who I am here. I'm not some person created on the internet you know, in Jersey. Okay. I'm Donna. You created that person on the internet. That had nothing to do with anyone but you. Here comes Barbie, here comes Barbie. Mm. So I mean, in a way, it's like I feel used a little bit, but you know, I knew the nature of the game, so I can't like, you know, totally blame everybody. Oh, stop. Um, but you are not playing the victim right now. You knew exactly what you were doing. These guys were giving you all the attention you wanted and you were eating it up, literally eating it up. You know, here I am. Isn't bison supposed to be better than beef? I've never had bison. Cleaner. I really need like a whole system. I need a village to help me and that costs money. When you get to that size, like there's really no doing it yourself. It's kind of hard to do anything yourself, honestly. So she's really in a predicament right here with these two kids and such a young child at that. And now she just doesn't have any kind of support. That's tough. And I don't have the income coming in like I did when I was doing the, you know, the internet. Get back to work, Junior. You're still I'm eating. on my own. If you needed a couple extra bucks, you could go to Taco Bell, buy a burrito, throw the camera up in front of you, hum, hum, hum. Every man, oh, you know, and then you're good to go. Got a few bucks. I'm not telling you how to live your life, though. Oh, no, they did not put that sign there. That's crazy. Damn. It kind of makes me feel like, wow, you know, you were there when you wanted me to be immobile. That was you. And you were all for it, giving me money and everything. And now that I want to change my life, it's like, they're not gonna pay you if you're not feeding their kink anymore. You act like these men that were all subscribed to you on the internet are supposed to still fund you even when you ain't putting in the work that they want. That was a mutually beneficial relationship. You got to eat and got money and they got to watch you eat and do that. You're not doing anything to please me, so sorry. The minute no I left, shit, I completely lady. stopped. I mean, it wasn't like even a 
I don't know, should I stop it or should I not? As soon as I left, it was over with, and up went my my blog and oh changed my everything. God. Immediately, we took all those pictures down and just put up pictures of family. Wow, why'd you ruin the money maker? Men were probably still paying to see it, because like I said, every man is still gonna wanna do whatever they're gonna do. We're friggin' deviants. Men are, men are always gonna wanna do that. So they would have kept paying for that website if you just left it up, because once it's on the internet, baby, it's on there. Turned it into a blog. Turned it into me, you know, wanting to lose weight. People paid to gain weight. That. And now it's like, can somebody help me lose weight? <laughs> That's the problem. No one's going to help you lose it. That's why my name is Sean of Steel. Be your own superhero, right? And then somebody actually pointed out to me that it was SOS. And I didn't realize that. Like a distress sig signal. I totally didn't do that on purpose. But it's kind of cool that it worked out that way. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I'm just basically in the public eye now. You just love. Damn, that's tough. So she ate all that to get her weight up. All these men just sat there choking their ham and slapping their salami or rolling their kielbasa, as I said in the other video. And now she's just sitting there with that weight and she has to lose it all and she's stuck because she doesn't know what to do because all she knows how to do is eat. But you got yourself there, sweetheart, so you're going to have to get yourself out of it. No one's going to help you except yourself. And hopefully you're going to do it for those kids because obviously they need you around and that girl is really young. Her mother is not going to be there for, you know, her whole life if you don't change instantly. Like, this is a reality check. It's time for you to stop doing all these just crazy things, putting on weight for men or catering to men that are already married. You just love the attention. Now it's time to put that attention on you, lose that weight, and do something positive. But like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.